All right, we got a 2013 Jetcraft Extreme Shallow, 1875, 18 foot length, 75 width, uh, mounted on an easy loader galvanized trailer with a swing tongue for storage in the garage and rollers for uh, shallow water ramps, side guides built into the trailer. Come around the front here, I got a Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor, 80 pound thrust with high pilot and a uh, Encoded deckhand 40 pound uh, anchor, electric anchor system on the front that can also be remotely operated from the driver's seat. Full windshield with a split in the middle so you can open it and get some air moving and access the, the front. Half top that snaps on and uh, folds down and out of the way when you don't want it or if you need to get out of the sun or the weather, pops up in a snap, uh, zipper in sides and back to make it a full enclosure and you could have a little heater in there and take the dampness off for uh, really cold days. Coming around the back here and uh, got my rod holders, my uh, Driftmaster rod holders mounted in uh, recessed flush mounts on the uh, back of the boat and the side. Uh, also have some vertical rod holders for uh, traveling with your rods right here. The uh, doghouse is a 200 horse Mercury Sport Jet uh, inboard. And I'll take you around the back here. Got a uh, kicker motor bracket uh, if you ever want to add that. Swim platform, which is pretty standard with the inboard jets. Uh, put some bracketry and mounted uh, my cooler on the back. It's all strapped down. Uh, take you underneath it here. It is a V6, so you have dual exhaust under the water. And as you get lower and lower, because it's a jet, there's nothing sticking out below the boat. Everything's flush right off the back of the boat. Uh, it's a 3 sixteenths inch thick aluminum, fully welded uh, boat. And it's got UHMW uh, plastic on the bottom as a coating to uh, work as a buffer if you hit uh, some minor rocks. Coming up to the side, I got a shallow water anchor here that I built. It's a three-quarter inch fiberglass rod, eight foot. You buy the T-handle for the top and a stainless steel point for the bottom. My application's a little different than a lot of people. Mine, I can put horizontal. Most people got to go vertical, so mine was kind of easy. I went with a one-inch galvanized conduit with a flange and... Uh, a piece coming down, bolted that on, and then put three quarter inch uh, soft uh, fiberglass uh, conduit on the inside so it's kind of uh, doesn't get chewed up from the metal. It's fiberglass on fiberglass. Keep the boat from spinning around uh, in shallow water, anchor off the front, and uh, pin the back down. Interior's pretty sparse, I guess, as it should be for a cat boat. Pedestal seats again that swivel around so you can fish off the back. Got a uh, Hummingbird 998 uh, side side image uh, locator. Uh, nice unit. Had one once before and uh, went with the same thing on the new rig here. Really been happy. Uh, come around the front. Again, some uh, vertical uh, rod holders. And... Uh, under bow storage. Just uh, pretty much heavy duty boat, uh, all welded, nice and thick. It's uh, <laughs> very rigid, uh, very popular boat in uh, the Alaska interior rivers. Uh, that's made in British Columbia and uh, really uh, a big seller up north there. But should work good for our shallow cat rivers there too. Maybe overkill, but at least you won't tear anything up, I hope. So, Catfish Keith signing out.